I gotta confess, I wasn't listening to a lot of the recitals this morning. My mind was just wandering. Right? Your mind reflects on the day, and it was reflecting on so many of the inconsistencies, the contradictions, the the um, the differences. First off, uh, here we are in this beautiful grove here. Um, separated from the traffic and the noise of the city of New York, and we should give due remembrance to our, our late state senator, Guy Valero, for doing so much to put this all together. Uh, in the middle of the city, we have peace and quiet and so on, a reflecting area. On a beautiful day, where New York City was employing the democratic process in the, in the primary, such horror came out of it. So many different contradictions in the city of New York, which is probably one of the most diverse cities, accepting cities in the entire world, where all colors and creeds and people from all nations gather and work and live together in relative harmony. Such a tragedy occurs. How a president elected on peace and stopping wars is now forced to do a reversal because we're still under attack. It's, it's, it's sad. <coughs> our American life, our traditions, our way of life that leads the world in so many aspects is under attack by, by people who just don't understand it, who can't accept it. But we keep our heads up proud and we remember this day. We gather here in solemn ceremony for those who died on a senseless attack. <coughs> Thank you for putting this all together, for starting this day the way this day should be started every year on this day with remembered, solemn remembrance. God bless our country and may America and the free world prevail in this struggle.